I'm going to be making this old school GW truck into this biggerized, modernized, cooler looking truck. Here's the truck I started off with. First thing to do was to cut the truck in half and cut the bed off the back. This I-beam looking piece in the middle is from an old uh, sort of broken hanger, uh, super glued into place. So I ditched the wheels and went for these tracks. Uh, they came off some old tractor toy. These front wheels are also off a tractor toy, but they they were sticking out a little bit too much. So here I am ripping them off and uh, cutting them down a little bit so I can. Stick them under the wheel axis properly. Now these wheel arches are made from the scoop of some kind of JCB digger type thing. Uh, just sort of chopped in half, turned around. They fit perfectly actually. They line line up perfectly with the uh, front plate of the truck there, which I was happy with. Hold it down for a minute, make sure to give it a little tap on the back to see that it's not going to wobble or anything. Always good when making vehicles to glue your tracks and your wheels and whatever on and then sit it on a nice flat surface so you can check that it's not going to wobble when you put it on the uh, gaming table or shelf. Here's the start of some idea I was having for an engine. Uh, it ends up a little bit bigger than this which is good obviously. And I've got this little spotlight that I want to put somewhere on the track. Now I thought about a scoop or uh, like a bumper or something maybe for the front but I go with something a bit different as you'll see. So one of the first things I do is basically cover up holes. I had this got a horrible hole underneath here that I needed to cover up so just a piece of uh, cheap uh, packing plastic that I got for free uh, you won't really see it so it, it doesn't matter how how uh, ugly a job it is but it, it covers the hole which is what I wanted Add another piece of this cheap nasty plastic just to cover up the gap on the front before I put some more detail. So here I'm thinking about uh, dashboards, uh, dials and other things like that. This part is actually off of a, uh, a Space Marine drop pod.
and that just sits in there nicely. So we needed some something to fill this this kind of gap here. So I I got this sort of suspensiony looking piece. Uh, I think that was off of the same JCB as the wheel arches. It just you know it looks like moving suspension arm type things uh, like it's part of the part of the suspension for the tracks. So long as it looks like it does something, then it works, you know. Again, just covering up any unsightly gaps for when I glue this on. So I cut some little uh, round plastic shapes to cover that hole and uh, look like it's rotating on on something. Just like it, you know, it works. Just like it does something. Well, look, more gap filling. Now I'm making some plates to add to the edges, extend the sides of that bed a little bit, just file them down with uh, the edge of a file, 
and scrape away the, the fluffy straggly bits that you get after firing with your knife. Uh, this piece, I think, comes from a, a wooden slatted shed uh, from some uh, model railway set or something. I don't think I've got much of that piece of plastic left. Yeah, yeah, do actually try and get it in shot. Well done. Uh, now I'm adding some uh, foot plates or steps or whatever you want to call them on the sides. Kind of mimicking the ones that are already there. Um, they get a bit bigger. And also covers up the dodgy join of the suspension pieces. So this is some old plastic clipped together road uh, set thing. Uh, it's a really nice solid plastic. It, as you can see, it snaps pretty easily. Uh, it glues with plastic glue. It just takes a little bit of filing, a little bit of cutting, a little bit of swearing and fighting with, but it's nice solid plastic, and it's got some interesting textures some of its bits so I'm going to use it for a, a big panel on the front here. It's the same sort of shape as the original, or the same general idea as, as the original. So back to filling up holes, filling gaps in. Uh, this piece of plastic comes from a bin lid that I chopped up just recently. Oh, and that one. Uh, unfortunately, it's not what I'd call proper plastic, so I do need to use super glue on this. So these are wooden coffee stirrers, you can use um, you know, lollipop sticks, uh, any old little bits of wood you've got, you can match sticks, anything like that, just score them up and you know, try to make them look more worn and natural and wood-like. So looking a little bit more like the uh, the newer model of truck with these uh, higher up panels. Yeah, just using these to add some uh, add some height, and some, some nice big plates on the side.
So here comes the uh, the back of the RAM that I decided to make on the front here. Uh, the original RAM is nice, but it's a bit too small for this biggerized truck. Fighting more uh, old toy plastic. So yeah, I decided to cut up these two rams. I've got one off the old school truck, and I've got one off the newer model. And I literally cut them in half and used them to get double the width. And then I added the the other halves on top. That looks nice and tough. I like that. So I had to make some holes for the supports on the bottom. This whole uh, bit here was a lot more fiddly than it looks. And I just sort of edited all that out and made it look like, look like it glues first time. Which it definitely did not. Yeah, yeah, look there. It's awesome. So I started uh, filming as I was trying to mock up a driver here. And oh, that made this nice little steering wheel. Piece of uh, brass wire and a uh, piece of plastic. Uh, in the end, I just built it off camera and stuck him in there. It took a very long time, it's very fiddly. But uh, I think it came out all right. Yeah, look at that. Had a few rivets while I think about what else I want to do to this truck. These rivets are. Again, just little bits of that cheap, horrible plastic um, applied with super glue because this other cheap, horrible plastic doesn't work with plastic glue. I think I might run out of rivets. I did. Let's make some more. So this is a one millimeter hole punch. Uh, I got this online from uh, a shop that sells uh, watch straps. So this is for you know cutting your holes uh, for your watch straps to hold your watch on. Uh, but they do make perfect little rivets. I was worried they might not come out as solid round circles, but they do. So here is the engine. I've got that little bit riveted up. Now here is how I make fuel barrels. You get a cylinder of any sort you cut roughly the right size piece of plastic for the ends then you snip and file until you get a nice round cylinder so that's with a fuel cap added on the top there a couple of little pieces of plastic card to act as hinges so now I'm going to add some dags to this front plate Couple more dags there. Kind of looks like the uh, wah glyph or uh, mouth or T 
teeth. I think it works well. So here's the spotlight I was talking about earlier. And here's the finished product. Uh, I added a grot, as you can see, with a heavy bolter turned big shooter on the front there. Added some more plating to the back, a little wooden ladder. And I added some checks on the sides, you can see there. Uh, added the um, plate that would have been on the front of the truck to one of the side panels. It was cool just to use that. And just a few different textured plates uh, in the bed of the truck, you know, to, just to make it a little bit more sort of slap bash, a bit more junkyardy. And here he is next to the last truck I made uh, in a similar style. This one's more of a junker wrecker truck. You know, with a claw for picking up, you know, tanks and vehicles and things to loot off the battlefield, take home and fix up. And the front of that being the Tower Rocks. yeah this was my first video um, if you liked it please let me know and I'll see you in the next one bye